I am continuing what I started yesterday. Organizing, I have a mess. Kinda have a little pile going of donation stuff. All this stuff is stuff for our business. Trying to organize as best as I can. It is getting ready to pour outside. It's thundering and lightning. It is really raining now. I also wanna come up with some type of solution for my uh, Mickey ears. They're just hung up right now with command strips. Okay, I've got everything dusted, made some room on my shelves to add more Disney stuff, and I did move some of the things that was on the shelves into here, which I had been wanting to do because the only thing that we had on these shelves were just the movies, so looked pretty bare in here. I'm just going to keep working on the upstairs here. I am finishing up with the upstairs. The downstairs and the upstairs are as organized as they're going to get at the current moment. I'm getting ready to start on the kitchen. I'm gonna start going through cabinets and packing up things that we don't use every day. Probably donating some things too because I have a lot of stuff. But I wanted to show you where I ended up. I think everything looks really good. We're loving the carpet. It makes such a huge difference in the house. And I cannot believe that we can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel. We are gonna be starting on the kitchen next week. We're gonna start demoing this weekend. The only other thing besides the kitchen that we're gonna be doing this year is getting our roof replaced. We have to do that before the end of the year. Otherwise our homeowner's insurance company is going to be dropping us, so we do have to do that. We just got the pool pump replaced because that went out too. I cannot believe everything that we have done in this house since we moved in three years ago. I do have a list downstairs and I am gonna take you through that list in this video. So coming up the stairs in the loft to the right, you have all of our donations that we're gonna be taking to Goodwill this weekend. The loft area is as organized as it's going to get right now. Some of these things probably will not be staying where they currently are. I just kinda tried to organize as much as I could. This light fixture has been sitting here for three years, basically. I bought it from the clearance bin in Lowe's thinking that we would use it in the master bathroom, but it is too small for the master bathroom. It only has three lights and then we thought we might use it here because we are going to be changing this pot light here out to a entryway light and it's just too small for that space so I'll probably either end up selling it or donating it to Goodwill. We have the Cinderella bathroom. It is pretty much complete. There are a few things that we still need to do in here. We still need to get backsplash for the back here and then a side splash and then we do have to put one piece of molding up right here in the corner and of course I'm going to be incorporating some Cinderella artwork in here movie room is all organized and clean dusted every inch of surface in this room but as with every room in this house they are a work in progress um, we do have a lot of blank walls that we want to incorporate art on. Craft room is as organized as I have ever seen it. I did throw a lot of things away and also donated a lot of things. I am donating everything that I can and throwing away things that I can't donate. There's just some things that Goodwill will not take. I reorganized this closet so that there would be more things that I could fit in here so we got that done and then I incorporated all of our picnic business stuff there the Beauty and the Beast room is really the only room that's not as organized as some of the other rooms and that's because we are going to be changing the furniture around in here and we're going to be taking this bed apart and I am going to be painting it black this furniture in this room is some of the only furniture that we did end up keeping if you're just now watching our videos we did buy this house three years ago and it was a short-term rental when we bought it so it was fully furnished so when we moved in of course we had all of our 
own things so we had to figure out what we wanted to keep what we wanted to donate what we wanted to sell things like that but I wanted to keep this bedroom set because this bed really reminded me of Beauty and the Beast with all of the detail and it is an iron bed so I am going to be painting it black because I don't really like the color that it is now it's like a yellowy color and I want it to be black all right so downstairs is more of a mess only because of the Ikea boxes that are still everywhere what I have to do is go through all of these cabinets drawers everything and pack up things that we don't use every day pack up things that we're not going to be using ever and donate those before I start on the kitchen I wanted to kind of go through a list of everything that I have done in the house since we moved in because it is a lot and when I started writing it down I was like oh man I have really done a lot in this house when we moved in we added ceiling fans and lights in every room because none of the rooms they did have ceiling fans but the ceiling fans were old and outdated and they didn't have lights on them so none of the rooms had lights so the only lights that the rooms had were lamps I went in and painted every single room so every single room in this house has been painted even the pool bathroom except for the garage and our master bathroom. I painted the stair railing. We got new carpet in the all the bedrooms and all of the upstairs. I have painted every single door in this house. So every door to every room, I took off the hinges. I painted the front and the back just to give it a fresh look. I painted all of the door molding, all of the floor molding, except for the garage and the master bathroom. We put a new wood wall in the master bedroom. We also put a wood wall back behind the TV in the living room. We also put a wood wall in the laundry room. Each closet is painted the same color as the rooms. People think I'm crazy for doing that, but it just gives it a finished look because in closets you do have a lot of scuff marks. This was a short-term rental before, so we did have scuff marks everywhere. In the laundry room, we put up new shelving, new cabinetry. We have new tile in all the bathrooms, except for the master, of course. We have new vanities in all of the bathrooms, new toilets, new shower fixtures, uh, when we moved in, we did get the pool resurfaced because it needed it. I painted the pool deck and we also did have to get a new heater for the pool because the heater went out last year and we just had to replace the pool pump because that went out last week. We also put new blinds in every single room. So, of course you can go back and watch some of our videos because I have documented all of this all along the way, but we've done a lot. We've done a lot in this house. This house looks nothing like it did when we first bought it. I'm going to get started on the kitchen. So let's do that. I'm going to start here in the coffee bar slash bar area with my big blank wall that some of you guys did give me some awesome suggestions. So thank you very very much my husband brought this home for me the other night um, one of his customers makes these evidently it is a orchid planter I have no idea what to do with it I have only ever owned one orchid in my life and I did kill it so if someone knows how to use this uh, let me know I have this beautiful Disney decanter that I am hopefully going to be putting at our bar. I'm gonna have to find something to do with my Tiffany wine glasses. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this one is a whole lot dustier than this one because I have used this one. When I wanna feel really, really fancy, I use it. But I don't use them often because I am terrified that I'm going to break them. They are Tiffany. We were given these by our mortgage lender when we bought this house. I'm gonna throw them in. I have no idea what this goes to. These are pumpkin carving things. Does anybody else like me and just have tons and tons and tons of wine glasses that you 
really don't use because you use the same ones all the time. That would be me. I even have flavored straws from SeaWorld. Do we really need to keep all this? Probably not. Boss mom. I am a boss mom. All right, I have one whole cabinet section here in the coffee bar done. One drawer. Partially, I still have that stuff down there. I'm going to work on this side and all of those. What's up everybody? Welcome to another day. It's Thursday. I'm getting started on the kitchen. As you saw in yesterday's video, I did clean out the coffee bar area. Today I'm starting with all of these cabinets behind me. You know, we still have to live day to day, so there are some things I'm going to have to leave out. I think what our plan is a fold-out table, plastic table, at um, Lowe's and Home Depot both have them. I think we're going to get it from Home Depot because it is a little bit cheaper. Tomorrow is Friday. We do have to go to Claremont tomorrow because Dave is getting a crown on one of his teeth tomorrow. He did have a root canal last Friday. So since we're going to be in Claremont, we're probably going to go to Home, Home Depot, get that fold out plastic table because we are going to be using that table for our business. So we're going to go ahead and get the table so that we can kind of have a makeshift kitchen while we don't have a kitchen in our kitchen. My game plan is I'm going to go through cabinets, drawers, take out things that I use on a daily, weekly basis, leave those out, and then everything else that I don't use daily and weekly, I'm going to be packing up. Things that I haven't used in the three years that we've been here, I will probably donate to Goodwill. Let's go through some cabinets and drawers, shall we? I've had some of this stuff for so long. This salad bowl is cracked. I wonder if you could use it for something else. Now this I really love. I've had it forever. It is kind of beat up a little bit, scratched, but it's so festive. And it's like a little salad plate with salad bowls, or you could do like pasta salad or something like that in it. But I think I got it on my clearance rack after Christmas at Walmart, actually. And now, I have to start this drawer. And a lot of this stuff I don't even use. Beer opener, definitely. But it's actually a wine opener. We just use it as a beer opener. I would one day like to get a proper beer opener. Still lots to do, but um, we're getting it done. And we can see the finish line kitchen will be done soon. I'm so excited. That's the last, well, actually the last and final step is once the kitchen is done, the flooring people will come back in and do the luxury vinyl plank because they can't do that until the kitchen's done. It's because that's not something that goes up underneath cabinets. It just butts up to cabinetry. So... Mm -hmm. 